Well, 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 HHS, we meet again. Welcome to Thursday. Hello, Hopkins and High School. For HHS Today, I'm your host, Chris Pomeroy. Stay tuned for several favorite segments, but first, we'll start off with a quick promo for next week's art show. Hi, I'm Emily. And I'm Lauren. And we're art students here at HHS, and we're welcoming you to our art show at the HCA on March 30th from 6 to 7 p.m. We hope to see you there so you can look at all the artwork we've made this past year, including paintings and drawings. You'll see a variety of work of different mediums that our teacher has helped us to create. The art show will be on from March 30th at 6 to 7 p.m. until April 11th, so stop by whenever you can. Their work looks amazing, so mark your calendars for 6 p.m. on March 30th at the HCA. And now it's time for one of those segments I mentioned, Question of the Day. In honor of the recent talent show, we're asking, what is your talent? If I were in the talent show, I would get together a couple friends, a couple musicians, and I would sing a song. Um, if I was in the talent show, I would probably sing. I can't sing, but maybe. I'd have a staring contest. I would do this. I would do voice impersonations of famous people, like Teddy Roosevelt and Martin Luther King. I'd drain some threes. Uh, I would definitely uh, recite memes for the talent show be pretty good. Very nice. My secret talent is underwater basket weaving. Although, now that I just said it, it's not so secret. Anyway, to see more of the talent show, visit our website for exclusive online-only content. Let's check in with Mr. Bishop for a Minute with the Principal. What's up, HHS? This week's Minute with the Principal is all about shout-outs to the amazing students here at Hopkinton High School. First off, congrats to sophomore Emma McNamara on winning a gold medal at the National Level of Scholastic Writing Awards for her short story, From Your Lost Eyelash. No Hopkinton student has gone on from the State Writing Awards to win an award at the national level before. So congratulations and well done, Emma. Congrats to the 15 students that qualified for the Business Professionals of America National Conference in Florida in May. The BPA aims to develop leadership, academic, and technological skills in the workplace among students and leaders within the community. Congrats to the high school Hopkinetics Robotics team on qualifying for nationals in Kentucky this upcoming May. We also had three high school destination imagination teams win first place at the regional competition held last weekend and will go on to represent Hopkinton at the D1 state championship on April 1st at WPI. Also, congrats to the John Katz Band for winning the talent show last Thursday. Also, the high school band, chorus, and orchestras broke like a thousand legs as they dominated their musical performance uh, earlier this week. Also, congratulations to this crew for winning the Be Free 3-on-3 three -three tournament last Friday. And congrats to this crew for being eliminated after just two games at the Mary Corby 3-on-3 three -three fundraiser last weekend. Better luck next time. The HCA is holding an honors art exhibit for its fellow HHS artists on Thursday, March 30th at 6 p.m., featuring these amazing high school artists. So as you can see, always a lot going on here at HHS, led by our amazing students, until next time, be kind to one another and do something for someone to brighten their day. Thanks. Hmm, pretty soon we'll be calling it Minutes with the Principal. But thanks, Mr. Bishop. That was good stuff. And speaking of good stuff, next Tuesday the Red Cross is running a blood drive all day in the auditorium. So drink plenty of fluids and stop by to help save a life. Coming up next, our very own Declan Curry brings us another movie review. This time he takes a look at Logan. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another review segment. This time we're looking at Hugh Jackman's last run as the Wolverine in Logan. You already know the drill, so let's get started. The movie takes place around the year 2025, which makes Logan about 200 years old, and tells a story about how Logan comes into contact with a young mutant named Laura, who seems to share some of the same abilities that he does. In the film, Logan and Professor X take on the task of caring for this girl, which leads them all around the country for reasons I won't yet disclose for the sake of those who haven't seen it. What I will say is that the relationship and dynamic between the three characters is very well done. Fans of this Claude Canadian will find an incredibly satisfying depiction of the character, which truly does justice to his beastly nature, but also shows his soft and cuddly side. Newcomers to the X-Men films, A, you have some catching up to do, and B, you will find this a truly well done movie with incredibly satisfying action sequences and genuinely heartfelt moments. My only qualm with this film is that it's the last time we're going to see Hugh Jackman don the mutton chops. 
Good on you, mate. We're gonna miss ya. And so, my final rating for this movie is 9 sets of claws out of 10. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, Declan. And finally, here's another Have You Seen This? This is a photo of something in the school. Have you seen this? Drop us an email or a selfie identifying the location and you might win a prize. Last time we had no winners, so it's time to step up your game. You have until March 31st to submit your answer, so good luck. That's what we have for you today. Visit us at hcam.tv slash hhstv for more about the show and online exclusive only content. We'll be back in a couple of weeks with another episode. If you have stuff we should know about, suggestions for what we should be doing, complaints, or to tell us that you like us, we're at hhstv at hillers.org. That's it for now. See you next time. And action.